Hey, what's up guys? I hope you guys are working hard and making some money. I just wanted to bring some attention or I guess some clarification, education to this product, which is Nylog Blue. All right. Now, this kind of spawned from a Facebook post where a few people, I don't think, fully understand what this product is and we're throwing around the word hack and all that kind of stuff. Now, let's be upfront here. This is not leak lock. This is not Loctite. This is made with POE. POE oil, refrigeration oil. Nylog Blue is made from POE. All right. Um, this doesn't harden like Leak Lock does or Loctite. You can't get caps tightened on where you can't get them off. That has never happened. Somebody said they, they had to drill off a cap because somebody put Nylog on it and couldn't get it off. Well, I'm sorry, but that doesn't happen with this product. This is lubricant. This is a, an assembly lubricant and a thread sealant. Okay, so I'm going to take you uh, to a machine, just a residential unit. And I'm going to show you some stuff. And people are complaining about, oh, you'll get dirt on this and that. Well, guess what? If you start with a clean tip, we have things called rags. If we start with a clean tip and a clean surface, we won't get dirt on anything. That is up to the technician working on the machinery if dirt gets on there. It's not the product's fault if dirt gets on there because you're being... Um, because you're not being diligent with it, okay? So stick with me to the end, because I'm going to show you how a brand new Schrader core can actually leak. And I'm going to show you why I use this product for insurance to make sure when I walk away, it's leak-free. Let's go. So before I went off on my own here to, to work for myself, the company I used to work for, we had a lot of large equipment that we would take care of, and we would do some annual leak checking on some of this stuff, right? And what we found was service valves would leak, like even with a cap on it. And the reason they're leaking is because the core underneath is leaking and perhaps the seal on the cap has dried out. So we're going to check these two right here on this unit right now. So I got the leak detector set to high and we're going to check the first core. So we got a leak on that one. We are going to check the second core. We also have a leak on that one. So I've got a brand new core here that I just took out of the package and I've got my core removal tool that I am going to change it with. So the core has been changed, as I showed you with a brand new one right out of the package. I let the area air out for 10 minutes so there's no residual refrigerant hanging around and I put the cap back on. The cap's been on for 10 minutes. So if that core is leaking, when I pull the cap off, we are going to detect something with the refrigerant leak detector. So I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to see if we get anything here. So that is a brand new core that we're registering a leak on. Brand new. Now the reason I use Nylog when I put fittings back together, even caps on service valves, is because I've just shown you that a brand new core can leak and leak slowly. And if the cap seal dries out, guess what? We are going to leak through this as well. And we're going to have those phantom leaks when we go to a call and it's short half a pound or a few ounces and we don't know why. And a lot of times it's because of the combination of the core failing and the seal and the cap drying out. So very, very simply, we just add a little bit of nylog to the seat and a little bit to the threads. Not a lot. And we start with a clean tip on the bottle and we start with clean threads. And we're never going to get dirt on there if we pay attention to what we're doing. And you don't need a lot. 100% you don't need a lot. So there is the nylog on the threads. You can barely tell it's there and there's not one speck of dirt on there because I was careful when I applied it. Now we can put the cat back on and walk away and be confident that our seal is going to stay lubricated from the nylog because it's POE oil, right? And we are going to seal that leak until the next guy comes back and opens it up. 
So this is why I use the product, and I just wanted to clarify a few things for the people that have misunderstood it, especially in that post that I posted yesterday. Happy HVACing, guys.